a disastrous peace. I thank the member. I call the member for Bendigo. Thank you, Acting Deputy Speaker. I rise today to outline to the chamber a report that we've prepared in my electorate um, that is based on the experiences of Bendigo and Bendigo residents with the aged care sector. Uh, it is no secret to any of us that the aged care sector is in crisis. It was in crisis before the pandemic. The pandemic has exacerbated the crisis and today we are still in the same situation. And whilst we acknowledge that there is currently a Royal Commission into the quality and care that residents receive within aged care, uh, we felt the need to put the Bendigo experiences of the aged care sector on the record. So I'll be seeking at the end of my contribution to table the report that we've prepared, because I feel that the voices of the people that we've heard in Bendigo do deserve to be on the HANSA record. Uh, this report is damning into the experience of many in my region. Uh, what we did uh, was actually write to uh, everybody that was over the age of 55 and asked them for their experiences. We asked them to complete a short survey and this report contains the findings. And what we found is that 90% of people we surveyed agreed that there needed to be minimal staffing levels set in aged care, that these ratios needed to be safe. Deputy Speaker, it came as a shock to many in my electorate that we don't already have minimum staffing levels, that it's left up to the individual organisation or facility to set their levels. Uh, that created difference of experience. 97% of people survey agreed that there should be better training and support for, um, for staff in aged care. 70% said that they agreed that people working in aged care facilities did not have access to appropriate PPE during the pandemic and did worry about the future. These are just some of the statistics contained in the report that says that people in my electorate of Bendigo agree that we need to have safe minimum staffing levels in our aged care facility, and we need to support the staff working in the facility. When we spoke to people working in the sector, their stories backed up what others said, that they felt under pressure, that there weren't enough of them, that they are exhausted, particularly at the end of um, the pandemic and where we're at at the moment in Victoria, that new staff didn't have the skills of old staff because the same focus was not on training. Deputy Speaker, this report is important. It is compelling. And I seek leave to table the report so others can learn from our experience.